All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barry. Today, we are talking about data center terms, specifically the power terms, PDUs, UPSs, generators. Let's go! All right, we're back and we are talking about data center terms. So if you're in technology and you're moving into a data center or maybe just talking to somebody that's in technology and you want to know more about the data center and you don't want to sound like you don't know what you're talking about, these are things you should know. So we're talking specifically around data center terms when it comes to power. So this would be like we're putting in a new set of racks in a data center and we need to know power requirements. So what are the terms? UPS, PDU, we got WIPs, generators, and voltage. Uh, so we did a video on voltage, starting with voltage, 110 versus 220, um, and what the differences are. Just know that when you get into a data center, typically it's going to be 220 uh, or 208 power. Um, and talking about generators, so generators are typically backup generators. So if the power goes out, uh, the power company is no longer providing power, the grid goes down, these generators are going to kick on. And the time in which the power is out between the generator starting up, because there's an engine typically for a generator, and it's going to start running and creating power, there's a delay from the time the power goes out to the time the generators kick on. What fills that gap is something called a UPS, and that's an uninterruptible power source. So as soon as the power goes out, it flips to battery, and the systems stay up without going down. And so when we talk about a short-term blip in power, maybe like a couple of seconds, it's gonna fire up, you. it's gonna leverage UPS power. If it takes longer than a couple minutes in a data center, traditionally it's gonna go tell those generators to fire up power. They're gonna come up, uh, they're gonna start, start making power, and that's gonna restore the long-term power source for the data center. We talked a little bit about PDUs. So that's a power distribution unit. So when the power comes in, it's typically a, a, a 30 amp circuit, They're, they could be larger, uh, but essentially it's gonna be a, a 208 or a 220 volt circuit with 30 amps of power. It's gonna be a big round plug. You're gonna plug into that either a UPS, depending on where the UPS sits in line, if it's before the plug or after the plug, either a UPS or a PDU. If you plug in a UPS, you're gonna plug your PDUs into the UPS, and if there's already a UPS ahead of the, the outlet, you're gonna plug your PDUs directly into it. So, what does a PDU do? It distributes the power, and it basically goes into these C13, C14 type connectors, so typically it's a, it's a, it's a plug that looks different than a wall outlet, um, and we use something called a WIP to connect uh, or, a, or a power uh, extension or a power cable, but, but some people call them WIPs if they're hanging off a PDU. Um, they're going to connect those from the server, the switch, to the PDU. Um, and so those are really the terms. UPS, PDUs, WIPs, generators, voltage, how they go together at a very, very basic level. If I said anything in this video that you go, hey man, I'd love to know more about this particular thing, leave a comment, make sure you like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching.